Early in the thick of it early on, but Pagot got down well to make the save. Hately was clearly in the mood, and he came so close again. A great diving header coming up from Houster's cross. On the half hour, Rangers had another chance to break the deadlock. Hately's head click on eventually fell to Houstra, and only some desperate defending kept the Dundee goal intact. Into the second half, and Rangers continued to work hard for the opening goal. David Robertson moved steadily down the left, and he squared it. Gary Stevens lined up the shot. Pago saved well. But Dundee then had a curious chance themselves. Dave McPherson's pass back was booted out by Scott. But McEwen headed straight back over the keeper's head and almost into the back of the net. At the other end, Trevor Stevens' persistence almost paid off in a big way. He kept at it. He found Ian Ferguson, who cracked his shot over the top. Substitute Alexei Mikhailichenko got into the danger area and doing well to stay in his feet, he just missed the target. But the last good chance of this match fell to Dundee. Britain crossed from the left and McQuillan should have scored with the header. So in the end, no goals, but that didn't disappoint the home support too much. A sixth successive championship had been clinched. It's nice to win the championship, obviously. A bit disappointed that we didn't come out with a win, but, you know, we, we had a few chances today, just didn't put the ball in the back of the net, but, you know, six in a row, I think it's a tremendous achievement, you know, hopefully we can keep going. I think we've been a wee bit back to the last two or three games or whatever, but uh, that's all we've been. The, the season's over 40 odd games or whatever, and we've proved we're the best team over that, that length of time, and now we've got to look forward to next week. I thought the fans were absolutely magnificent today. Um, if that weren't enclosure behind that goal, I hope they'll stay there next season because they're absolutely brilliant. And they give us support like that next next Saturday, then uh, you know we won't go far wrong. We'll get them a treble. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Nizzy. Nizzy's got only contribution uh, this season. There you go. We won the championship after 40 games. You know, it's gone to 44 the last four games. We haven't been under any pressure to win the games, and I think it's showed in our performances. We haven't played that well. But uh, I'd rather I could handle that every season, winning them after 40 games anyway. No? Feels great, Jim. Uh, feels as good as it did the first one. And um, I think the best team always wins a league over the, over the period of the season. And I think we've proved that. It's been a lot tougher this year, but um, I think we've proved we deserve a title. Why has it been tougher, Ali, this season? <clears throat> I think um, there's been one or two things you could... You could Bobby! <laughs> 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 I think a boy's diet's not been great this season. <laughs> too much to know, Ali. I think a boy's diet, some of them have been great, Jim, you know. But, <laughs> but, it's, but it's food for thought, isn't it? It's certainly food for thought, Jim. And, um, <laughs> we're just pleased to have it won. It's, it's, been, a, yeah. it's been a long season. And um, I'm a pleased. It's been, uh, we've still got a couple of hours to go next week, but you can see the, the lies. We've we felt a little bit more pressure this year. We've had injuries and, and, and one or two suspensions and stuff like that. And we haven't played as well as we did the season before. But the main thing is we've, we've won the league and we're looking forward to the cup final next week. Walter, six in a row. Is there a sense of relief that it's been achieved? Um, there's a sense of relief that the season's over um, and a sense of we've had to overcome you know, plenty of injuries and problems over the season to win it. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't use a relief now. I think uh, everybody's delighted. I think at the end of the game today, um, the supporters stayed behind and showed their appreciation of that. And I thought that was a terrific uh, bit from them because, you know, in the build-up to today's game, we haven't played um, particularly well in the last few weeks and we haven't got the results, but they were there today and they showed that they enjoyed it and they showed that uh, they're still appreciating the fact that we are winning championships season in, season out. All right, we'll be looking for your calls in a couple of minutes. There's a number, 0500 404 000. The lines are open.